This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Well, Jim Jones, shit talker that he is, he got on, uh, I guess he was on Instagram Live or something like that, and, uh, you know, he's talking shit. Jim Jones talks a lot of shit. He's talking a lot of shit. You know, we've known him for his problems, so he's had with Cameron. Cameron and him can be going back and forth. Cameron's telling everybody he's not from Harlem, and Jim Jones just... He just talks too much shit. He just, he just can't fuck with Jim Jones. Well, another person Jim Jones has problems with is can't. Uh, I'm sorry, is Damon Dash. Okay, he's called out Damon Dash for being a real culture vulture and not doing proper business. He doesn't like the way Damon Dash does business. Okay, now Cameron has maintained his relationship with Damon Dash. Okay, now Cam, uh, Jim Jones was on there talking shit, you know, and talking shit back to people. People were talking to him, saying he's not from Harlem and stuff on his Instagram live, and he was responding to all that. But then, then uh, someone brings up his whole Damon Dash problem, okay? And he said, "Oh, Damon Dash got them shatter bones, you know. You know he got problems. He got that diabetes. He got weak bones. You can't don't hit him too hard, otherwise he'll break in half." Now, this is where Jim Jones always goes too far, okay? Like, you know, like, why are you making fun of somebody for something like diabetes, which, I mean, come on, man, you know, it's this person has a real problem, you know? And this is why I see Cameron can't totally fuck with Jim Jones, because Jim Jones just, he just be doing shit that's just crazy, man. Like, like the whole beef with 50 Cent that Cameron went through and then Jim Jones took 50 side and, and and that shit was weak to him, you know? Like, Jim Jones be doing stuff that, that, that makes the crew look weak sometimes, like having all the public beefs with Cameron. Cameron has stated that he doesn't want to fuck with Jim Jones, but Jim Jones keep, like, trolling Cameron to fuck with him. I know these guys were brothers at one point, okay? But sometimes... I think Cameron came to a point, and I've come to this point with certain people in my life, that, you know, this relationship, even though this person's my brother, and I don't want to talk bad about them, so I'm going to distance myself from them because I feel like they're toxic for my life. And that's a decision you're allowed to make as a human being, right? Well, Jim Jones doesn't want Cameron to make that decision. It's like... He won't allow him to make that decision. He keeps trolling him and everything. You know, Jim Jones be doing, he be playing the tough guy role too much when like you already did that, bro. People already know you about it. You know, you got heart and all that, you know. And I even saw Jim Jones the other day going through Harlem and asking all the bodega owners, you know, how long you've been seeing me. Cameron never said you didn't go to Harlem. He said you ain't from Harlem. That doesn't matter anyway. So I mean, Jim Jones reps Harlem. To the fullest, okay, but I don't know, man. You know, I just thought the whole, whole comment about Damon Dash was a little weak, but hey, I respect Jim Jones for what he does, I respect Cameron for what he does, and salute to Joel's for out here making moves again. This is Jordan Towel, JT News, directed videos, you know, for, for everybody, man. You know, incredible news source out here. I actually am in the music business. A lot of music, a lot of these sources are not in the music business. I'm talking about. Just because you interview somebody doesn't make you in the music business. Like, I actually partook in the music business, had a label with Kara on slash Sony. Uh, I understand the inner workings. Uh, I have multiple platforms. Okay, so just letting you know, shit's credible over here. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate you. Check you on the next video. Jordan, Jordan Tower, Tower Film. Jordan, Jordan, Tower, Tower, Films.